Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? I got a bunch of fast food videos coming up, including uh, a Taco Bell one. I, I'm trying out that brisk uh, mango iced tea. It's okay. It just tastes kind of artificial mango flavor. Uh, but I do a review of that because I got some fast food, uh, fast food videos coming up. I'll be uploading. I try to do one a day or one every other day. I got three of them. And uh, I'll probably do the Taco Bell one tonight. And that drink is part of it. Well, anyways, <clears throat> I got a thing in the... It's weird now because you get in that little bell thing that notifies your stuff. It notifies when people upload things. If you don't... If you're not always checking your subscription thing, which I do that all periodically every... If I'm up, you know, every so often to see if someone's got something new. And I said, Tony, you had a new video up because he did the Reese's. Peanut butter cup Oreos, which were fantastic, fantastic video and fantastic product from Oreos, and uh, that was great. A retro review because he changed his whole channel. He uh, started over again, and I still remember Tony was the very first guy on YouTube to do the shaker fries from McDonald's. I envy you because I always wanted to try them. They don't have them here, and all they had to do was just send up their shaker packets. But oh well. So. And then his newest video was WWE Tag. I guess this is a video he made. I mean, a tag he did. Like I did the Cool Cat Callum tag a long time ago. It's a lot of work doing a tag. Thing of good question. And I watched the video and I watched it again to write down all the questions right here. And I added two questions of my own. And I wanted to tag Tony. Uh, if the next video he does, if he could do just the two questions I, I added. I mean, if it's a food review or anything, if you could just do like an add-on, the two questions I added, that'd be cool. Because uh, I, I had a question I thought I'd throw in. I, th I threw in two interesting ones. So when I get to that thing, then I'll say this is a question I added for fun. I thought it'd be an interesting thing. And then, you know, Tony, if you could, uh, next video or something like that, if you could uh, answer that along with the great video you videos you always do, that'd be cool. Well, anyways... Oh my God, two and a half minutes. I haven't gotten started yet. All right, I wrote down all these questions, like I said, in my famous notebook. They had notes about the kitchen, too. Getting the kitchen done. Okay, let's see. WWE tag. Okay, favorite current superstar. You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to give an odd answer. I'm going to say Paul Heyman. I don't know if that counts. But Paul Heyman has so much passion for what he says. I would definitely want him to make. He drives it home. The crowd loves him. They used to hate his guts, but they love him. I mean, he has so much passion. Saying Brrr, Lesnar like that. I mean, I'm going to say him, and no one else will probably say that. But I say I'm very impressed with the strength he has on the microphone. He's not a wrestler. Well, he used to wrestle a long time ago. But I'm going to say Paul Heyman. That's not a, that's probably a very unusual answer, but I'm going to say Paul Heyman. Just because he's such a great speaker, and I think the crowd really digs him. Uh, favorite superstar of all time, I'm going to say Rowdy Roddy Piper, because he was a bad guy I really loved to hate. Cause I remember uh, in the old days, I was born in 1968. And I did videos growing up wrestling when it was really low budget. They didn't have that much, and... Uh, and that much money, and they always had like uh, these wrestling tapes when I first started wrestling, uh, renting videotapes. They had the same beginning, and they had Roddy Piper's greatest hits. And I love that video. And then there was a video with him interviewing himself, and he was such an asshole. It was very entertaining. So I have to say Roddy Piper, but I also like the Bushwhackers, but I don't say favorite tag team. Well, that's a question. What's your favorite tag team, Tony? If you could do that, that's another question I added. What's your favorite tag team of all time? I love the Bushwhackers. Favorite current diva? I'm going to have to say Paige. But, I mean, I'd like to say AJ Lee, but she retired. But And also Natalia, but they don't do shit with Natalia. Natalia gets screwed over all the time. But I'm going to say Paige. Because no one else really... Well, they're all, they're all, they all have their moments. Uh, favorite diva of all time? It's weird because... Way back in the 80s, before Wendy Richter came out, they all looked like they were in their 40s and 50s. 
and like uh, Mula and May Young. Well, I never saw May Young until much later. Mula and Lalani Kai and stuff like that. They always looked like they were very. They looked like more. They were more like your moms than wrestlers. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to say uh, Lita too, because she really, uh, she really had the talent besides the looks. You know, so I'm going to say Lita. Mania or SummerSlam? Eh, it's a toss up. I like. I'm going to say WrestleMania could have had more grandeur, but SummerSlam is right up there. SummerSlam is awesome too. I can't say anything uh, bad about either one. So I'll say WrestleMania by uh, by a little bit. Uh, do you have WWE Network? No. Uh, after you know, like I said, after my dad passed away, I'm trying to save money. Uh, that's something I just can't. I just got too many. Uh, things doing it. I, I'm stuck in some home improvements and I spent like $2,000 so far and I got to make sure I have money for the bill. So no, I don't have that right now. I don't know if I will have it. Maybe. I don't know. Favorite championship belt of all time. I'll just say the traditional one in the eighties. I don't even remember what it looked like just because I'm old, old school, I guess. Favorite current title. Eh, WWE championship, I guess. Uh, least favorite superstar. Uh, probably R-Truth. And it always pisses me off when R-Truth beats Wade Barrett. And Wade Barrett is a great wrestler, and it's really insulting. He won King of the Ring, and they have R-Truth doing like a, like his own comedic version of that. But it, it wears it, and that whole thing of him, them hiding the belt, or him stealing the belt, is so stupid. So R-Truth. Oh, the worst... Now, this is a question for you, Tony. That What's the worst match you've ever seen of all time? The worst match I ever saw was... It was in Fort Bragg. It was on... Uh, what the hell was that show called? They had wrestling superstars. Oh, wait, it says superstars of wrestling. Wrestling something. It was one of the uh, nine, uh, one of those half uh, hour long syndicated shows like Superstars of Wrestling, but it was something else. Damn, I can't remember what that's called. But it was a different, it was a different title, and they had like little jobber matches where like the big star would beat the crap out of the other guy, and then they'd lose. And they had a villain, they lose. The worst match of all time was Big John Studd versus Bill Berger. Bill Berger looks like some guy they pulled off the street. Bill Berger is in worse shape than me. This is the match. I'm going to get up. Okay. Okay. Whoa, shit. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Big John Stud. Well, whipped him across the ring. This is Bill Berger. You know how you whip someone and you're supposed to go real fast like this? Bounce off the ring. Bounce off the... And then, you know, and then he just, you know... He hit. A, he did that once or twice, and then they, he found he just felt like that. The lamest, worst match I've ever seen. They might as well just have me on there, and I do a better job. And I ain't no wrestler, believe me. That match sucked, but it was so funny how bad it was. I don't even think it's on YouTube. If it was, you'd. Re I remember that shitty match for forever. Oh, uh, now I'm out of breath. Least favorite. Oh, least favorite superstar of all time. Oh, God. Uh, I'll have to come back to that. Has anyone ever thought you were a wrestler? Yes. I went to a wrestling show in Erie, and the guys were... My dad wanted to leave because he wasn't, he wasn't in the best health. And we were driving by, and the other guys, all the fans were waiting to see the guys on the bus and of course my dad wanted to go so we didn't do that I went and looked out the window and went uh, like that and then one thought I was Gene Snitsky so that was someone thought I was a wrestler uh, favorite Wrestlemania moment when Hulk Hogan slammed onto a giant Wrestlemania 3 least favorite Mania moment that lame match between Brock Lesnar and Goldberg where uh, Goldberg saying uh, Lesnar was saying what the fuck do you want from me and everyone was saying this match sucks this match sucks favorite error Probably rock and wrestling in the 80s because I'm old school. Favorite match this year? I really like the I Quit match between John Cena and Rusev. Favorite merchandise you own? I don't have any right now. Uh, I had that 
cup that Tony gave me. I don't know what happened to it. It's somewhere. But the, uh, the tech cup Tony was kind enough to give me. Uh, favorite fashion? I don't know. I guess maybe that uh, the heart foundation of pink and black because it's just so different back then. It was really different. Uh, current WWE title? Yeah, it's all right. Only one Diva Championship belt? Yeah, because there's no real Divas. You know, there's no, uh, there's not that many Divas. That'd be kind of foolish to, you know. And the Divas matches don't, they just rotate the Divas. They don't have much thought put into the, uh, the Diva matches at all. Favorite finisher? Uh, shit. Oh, the Cesaro Swing. I like that real well. Favorite stipulation? Oh, God. The I Quit matches have been pretty good whenever I saw them. Favorite pay-per-view? Uh, I don't know. I'll probably say wrestler, toss between WrestleMania and SummerSlam. Have you ever met any wrestlers? No, I almost met Hulk Hogan in uh, Fort Bragg, but I didn't know he was there. Of course, the USO could no one said nothing to me. That sucked, but no, I haven't. Well, I saw some live in a show, but I never met any up close and personal. I met a YouTuber. I did a video about that. Oh, God. Least favorite all-time wrestler. I'd say Bo Berger, but that's not really fair. He's not a superstar. Uh, least favorite all-time. Who did I hate? Who did I hate? I'm trying to think. Damn. Who did I really not like? Shit. I'm trying to think. Uh, favorite. Oh, I always hated uh, that one, I don't know if it counts, that one manager. Uh, no, I never liked Dino Bravo. I never liked Dino Bravo. That's who I don't like. So that's been my WWE tag. I want to tag three people. Well, first of all, I'd tag Tony for those couple questions, like worst match. Anyone thought you were a wrestler and stuff like that? And I want to tag uh, Joey's World Tour. Because he did that awesome video of the WWE Access. And he gets a lot of haters. But everyone who hated on the video is probably jealous. Because he was in the video with Eva. With e Eva? Or Eva? 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 With uh, Eva Marie. Uh, Sal Lawrence and Stephen Lalai. I'm still getting that last name. Who had just had gastric bypass surgery and... I hope you're doing well, buddy. So that's my WWE tag. Thank you, Tony, for tagging me in this fun tag. I just had trouble finding the worst wrestler of all time. I'm going to say Dino, Dino Bravo. and There's probably someone worse. But I just can't. My mind's a blank. Oh, God. I just don't remember. So that's my WWE tag. I hope you like it, buddy. And until next time, bye, please. Take care of my legion.